There's an assumption that using quote, technology and electronic records will increase the quality of care. I know of no study that shows that. I would like to see it. Number two, electronic record keeping for the hospital was translated into this. The insurance companies then could not have as much of an argument with the hospitals in when they got the bills because it was all recorded. So it became a monitoring system, not an increased quality of care system. Those are the three points. I would like your comments on that. I would like to speak to technology real quickly and just say this. While um, I'm not able to cite a study that may address the quality of care, I believe our position would be that we need to continue to explore opportunities to advance the use of technology within the healthcare delivery system. If anything, what it's going to enable us to do is to reduce the administrative burden and gain some efficiencies as well as the issue of the portability, recognizing that the consumer moves throughout the healthcare continuum. And we have a lot of duplicative systems where um, you know, one service sector is having to do an administrative keep, housekeeping thing that is having to be duplicated, and all those things do delay the consumer getting to the point of service in a more timely manner. Yeah, I just make one quick personal comment on that. I, d I have to deal with this all the time, the non-electronic, and, and, and making electronic helps me a lot because I have a 5,000-mile one-way commute, and in effect, in effect, I have kind of national health care already, if you will, because I'm a member of the Kaiser system. Uh, I started with Kaiser in 1959. I think I'm one of the longest recipients. Do you, know, do you, do you get a, a medal or something after 50 years? I, I don't know. Anyway, I was going to the Kaiser system when Henry Kaiser went there. So I, I always thought it was good. If he went there, I thought, I'm, I'm okay here. And, uh, but uh, what happens is when, when I have to deal with the capital physician's office in, in D.C., then he has to stay in touch or she has to stay in touch with my physician at Kaiser. And I pass through California and Kaiser's there. So when, if you're dealing with like written records, how do you shift that back and forth and keep all up, but, but electronically, if only just through email and so on? I'm not sophisticated enough to know all the nuances involved in electronic record keeping. But it seems to me that in a mobile society like ours, that's something that has to, has to evolve one way or another. Whether or not it, it answers all questions, I don't know. I'm very concerned, however, about mandatory staffing issues. I think that we have seen that that has increased the cost of care, and studies, scientific studies, have not shown any improvement in the quality of care. I think you're referring to the California Nurses Association. They have passed uh, legislation that mandates a nurse to staff, uh, or patients to nurse ratios, which we are looking into that because um, it would set a standard for starters because if there is no legislation out there, um, basically every each employer can set their own standards as far as staffing ratios. And uh, what we're looking at is limiting the number of patients that one nurse can take care of because uh, you are very well aware that this with, with the increasing demands of uh, care requirements or acuities as we call it um, some some it may not always work out however um, to set a, a specific standard and then work from there is the objective because if we don't set the standard, then, like I said, every employer would set their own. Uh, nice to see you again, Doctor. Good to see you again, Congressman. I'm, I'm Steve Walk, and I'm speaking for myself. Uh, you when, always do, Steve. When, uh, <laughs> when uh, we're going to have some form of national health insurance, we have to remember the uniqueness of the state of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We're in an island state. And people just can't drive from New York to Connecticut or New York to New Jersey or California to Nevada or whatever. We also have a drawing area that goes from Yokohama to Japan, Seoul, Korea to, to here. And that includes Guam, America, Samoa, and, and many other places and vessels, Micronesia and, and, and vessels out at sea. So there is a uniqueness about Hawaii that the people here, you know, have different different accesses to care, no matter what. So, uh, hopefully, 
uh, as long as you're in the Congress, you will still uh, yes. you remember this and, 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 and work, work for that. Yes, I promise, Steve. Thank you very much. That is true. I've, I've had discussions with uh, Mr. Waxman and, and uh, Mr. Markey and, and others, uh, uh, and Mr. Rangel, uh, others who have the chief responsibility from the committees on, in terms of the uniqueness of Hawaii, not just for uh, health care, for example, in energy, uh, the, the current energy uh, bill and so on, to make sure that uh, non-contiguous states, I might say, it's not just Hawaii, we're talking about Alaska, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, the, the territories that, as you mentioned, they have particular and unique circumstances that need to be addressed in the overall context, whether it's energy, uh, whether it's health care, uh, whether it's transportation. So yes, we are going to try and keep that in mind. Now, whether we can work that into certain exemptions or, or uh, particular legislation that addresses the non-contiguous states, we'll see. I'm Dr. Alvin Fusse. I'm, uh, I'm speaking only for myself. I'd like to make an observation. Sure. I'm a, a, I'm a recently retired primary care physician pro city IAF for the last 35 years. The, um, the one way that we can approach health care reform is a single payer system, a single payer plan, and it will cover everybody, first and foremost. Next of all, it actually, if one were to examine it, and if it were on the table, uh, Senator Bacchus threw it off the table, uh, if it were on the table, maybe people would examine it more carefully and realize that a um, one um, national large whole population risk pool is more manageable from an actuarial um, underwriting, whatever way you look at it, than, than the very fragmented cherry-picking risk pools that we have right now. The worst risk pool is the much uh, to criticize Medicare system, 65 and over, I mean, doesn't take a rocket scientist or a smart doctor to realize that that's the riskiest group around, they're going to spend the most. Um, the second way that um, this kind of insurance would, uh, national health care plan, single payer would help is that, that the um, 400 billion with a B or more dollars per year are spent administratively in private insurances. The, um, that out of the <coughs> 2.4 trillion dollars, that that's still a large percentage. If we can save at least part of that by doing away with um, marketing, sales, underwriting, profits, that might help us overcome some of the burdens of uh, the uh, health care um, costs. There's going to be a national health care reform bill come up, and it's coming out this fall. And the question is in Canada, the question is in England, the question is in the United States. So the points made are well taken and they're well made, and I assure you they're going to be taken into account. But rest assured, there is going to be coverage for everybody in this country. We're going to figure out how to do it. We're going to figure out how to pay for it. And we're going to see to it that people are properly reimbursed for their labor. Everybody is worth, at least my mom and dad taught me, everybody's worthy of their labor. And uh, I intend to, uh, as a representative here, to, to carry that, uh, that proposition forward. So we'll, we do want to take into account the lessons learned from every system. but. One of the lessons we've learned is, is that what we have right now is not serving the bulk of the American people in a way that we deem uh, appropriate uh, for the kind of care that we think this country represents in its values.